Well, when we teach our children something, it always helps to incorporate some type of game or activity in order to make learning fun. However, if you really think about it, no matter what age we happen to be, we always seem to retain just a little bit more with the learning is fun concept. In today's financial fitness segment, I took a look at a statewide coalition helping Idaho seniors avoid getting scammed through bingo. The state of Idaho has unfortunately seen its share of scams and fraud. In the last three years alone, there have been $950,000 in reported losses from scams and fraud. And those scams are always evolving and changing. And so even though we think we might know about the obvious scams, you know, the gift card scam, the romance scam, they're, they're always changing. Sadly, one group that's most commonly scammed are seniors. Grandma, I'm in jail. Be aware of the grandparents' scam. There's a cognitive change that makes them more susceptible. Um, there's also isolation. Uh, we know that when you're isolated, that you're, you're just more vulnerable uh, to engaging with an individual that a bad actor, if you will, that has bad intentions. And those bad actors are finding more and more ways to dupe seniors out of their nest eggs they've earned from decades of work. Consider installing firewalls and virus detection software on your home computer. They're using technology, which a lot of people that are of certain age um, aren't as familiar with technology, so they use that to really fool people. That's where the Idaho Scam Jam Alliance comes into play. They're a group of government entities and nonprofits that have joined forces to try and protect Idahoans from scams. We've all come together with this common mission uh, to help educate Idaho consumers about uh, scams and fraud. And when it comes to seniors specifically, the Alliance has made a few alterations to a golden year's favorite by creating fraud bingo. We encourage audience participation by having our audience members that may have that number or letter combination talk about a scam or fraud that they have been impacted by. And that's where the magic happens is when we have that community discussion happening. In addition to sharing their own stories, seniors who attend are read a different safety tip after each number letter combination is announced, helping them stay informed so they know what to watch out for. Tip from F11, make sure you collect your mail every day. These con criminals are actively calling seniors who are oftentimes lonely and those are the only people they're talking to. So the Scam Jam Alliance has to be the counterweight to these con criminals out there trying to reach seniors. We're here to provide the right information at the right time to prevent the scams from happening in, in the first place. And just as imperative, the Alliance is always stressing the importance of reporting scams and fraud if you become a victim. There's no shame in being a victim of a scam. A lot of people don't come forward or they're hesitant because they feel like, well, I should have known. I'm, you know, I'm, I was a sucker. But really, you know, we hear from doctors, we hear from attorneys, we hear from a wide variety of, of individuals. So it can happen to anyone. With more fraud bingo sessions planned for venues around the state and other educational presentations planned, the Idaho Scam Jam Alliance is doing what they can to help you keep your money. The more you can educate yourself, the, the more likely you are to keep your money um, in a secure place for your retirement. Bingo! Oh. And for a list of events, the Idaho Scam Jam Alliance will be hosting as well as volunteer opportunities. You can find this story on our website, idahonews6.com.